Hi crafting friends, welcome back to my channel and to a short tour of a Dollar Tree in Northern Maryland. Here there's a plus section as well. I was greeted with a lot of spring fling items right next to all of the chocolate roses and chocolate hearts and Valentine candies. The spring items were very cheerful to see. They had a wide variety of planters and stakes. These are the little flower rocket boxes, they call them. They have the flowers uh, seeds in with the soil inside the box. So it makes it very easy to plant. They also had a wide variety of seed packages. And as you can see, soil as well as all of these planter pots for $1.25. I think that's a really fair price. They also had the glazed mushroom decor that last year I saw people spray paint in a more neutral color. They had other garden uh, statue decor as well. Here they had lots more planters, also the galvanized ones for um, faux arrangements. Here you can see more of the Valentine hearts and chocolate roses and other variety of candies. As I mentioned to you before, these chocolate hearts have delicious candy. For $1.25, along with one of the pretty Valentine cards they offer, you can give someone a very meaningful gift for just about $2. Here they had a nice assortment of St. Patrick's Day items. Of course, green was the featured color, and they had fun kinds of decor and wearable if you enjoy decorating for St. Patrick's Day. These tulle skirts would be really fun to dress the bunnies. I saw those bunnies like the one you see here that I dressed in the Valentine skirt. I saw them just starting to come out onto the shelves, so hopefully they will stock them again this year. They were very popular. People enjoyed personalizing them and making arrangements with them. Now, if you want to see every color of the rainbow, all you have to do is look in the party section, the ribbons and bows and festive kinds of adornments for packages were really beautiful and arrayed in such a nice color combination. The color palette is very vibrant and so much better priced than you would find in a card store. Here's some more of the party items. And now we'll move into the crafting supply section. I'll just give you a quick glance at these items. It was very well stocked and the wood crafting section had been expanded. I saw on this end cap a lot of really nice plaques and designs and beaded wreaths and items that I had not previously seen, including the little bird houses. I think there were some great uh, opportunities for projects with these items. They also had two different kinds of Mod Podge. They had the um, regular matte as well as the glossy and lots of wood blocks. These little hinged boxes were cute as are the bird houses and you can see they've expanded on their wooden crate designs. Here are some galvanized items and little packages of fabric strips. I'm always excited to peruse the sticker section. I bought a package of these with the jewels on them. I'm going to decorate some hearts and I will be doing that in my upcoming video. I'm really looking forward to um, exploring, decorating with those and sharing that project with you. You can see they just had so many, including some of the beaded ones. Here are some sweet little flowers. Another beautiful section of Dollar Tree uh, is their display of wall adhesives. And the florals are beautiful. I've used them in so many different projects. This one with the butterfly wings was new to me. And you can see so many um, other ones that they have, including some with inspirational verses on them. They're very popular, not only to use as wall decor, but for lots of different crafting. Here you can see just one example of how I've used the lovely pink peony blossoms to decorate one of the Dollar Tree pillar candles. Coupling that with two of the yarn wrapped hearts really makes a lovely grouping. There were a couple aisles of Easter crafting supplies 
all kinds of different carrots this year, I noticed, more than they had had previously, and lots of different baskets and buckets for filling with Easter goodies. Here's some of the wall plaques that they have, as well as the Easter trees they were stocking. Here you can see the box of the Easter trees and craft kits as well as more of the buckets. These little bunny tails are fun and I used them last year to make my upside down bunny in the carrot patch and that was a very popular project that people really enjoyed. You can see that the bunny tails and paws come in blue and pink and I used them in a variety of displays. When I walked into Dollar Tree, the manager greeted me and told me they had just gotten in the Just Chenille yarn that I had been looking for. So I was really pleased to find it in a variety of really fresh colors. It's a pleasure to work with because of its very soft and silky texture, and it really does elevate beautifully. Simple wooden objects that you can wrap. I have wrapped Valentine hearts, the large foam Dollar Tree hearts are easy to wrap, as are the small wooden ones. I've also had fun wrapping Easter eggs and creating displays using those. The Just Chenille yarn comes in a wide variety of colors. I'll take a minute now just to show you some of the highlights of the plus section. These eggs were very pretty with all of that intricate design. And here they have a lot of larger planters as well as different lanterns, rugs, floral arrangements. Those could be easily made, uh, I think prettier actually. These larger planters were quite nice. And you can see over here, they had just, again, more of the solar lights. Those were very nice. Those were done, uh, designed to be pathway lights. And I thought they were especially pretty. These metal bugs were very whimsical. And I really liked these Easter baskets. They were so soft and made to look like the classic peeps. They had them in blue and a pastel kind of rainbow color, as well as the bright traditional yellow and blue. Now here's a variety of Easter eggs. As they did last year, they had them in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. And over here, I like these. Uh, they were a lot of fun last year to spray paint in a cream color and then just wrap with a little bit of twine. It made the look, uh, I think, a lot more sophisticated. Here on the end cap are some fun ideas for Easter basket fillers. Um, for $1.25, children could have a lot of fun with some of these. I used silicone molds similar to these last year to make little crayons and then I filled Easter eggs for the Easter egg hunt with them and they're a lot of fun. I demonstrate how to do that project on my Easter playlist. Now back to the plus aisle. These are some more items I just wanted to show you real quickly. Some of the string lights and macrame wrapped eggs. This three-tier serving tray was nice for $5. I had fun decorating the one that Dollar Tree sold for Valentine's Day. Here's some more fun springtime Easter decorations. These are the stackable large eggs for $5, as well as other large plastic eggs and decorative bunnies, as well as some of the egg garlands. They had a variety of those. Here's just some more of the wall hangings and little fun festive wreaths and more of the Easter peeps. These were so nice and they're twice as much in other stores. Here's some very nice Valentine gift bags. I used one to frame and make a simple Valentine decoration. This was an easy project I made, just using one of the Valentine gift bags, as well as a Dollar Tree frame and some other embellishments. Here's some more of the decorative items they have for Valentine's Day. 
tins and gnomes that are really cutely decorated. And I thought these little bears were very sweet. There's something about the little face was just cute for $1.25. These would be sweet in a gift basket or even to use as a balloon bouquet weight. Here's some more of the wall decor as well as an assortment of the spring Valentine faux florals. You can see the little hearts and the reds and the pinks and more of the little bears. Uh, they had those in white with the white flowers and just very, very um, spring-like. Here's some daffodils and all kinds of others that look like lilies and different kinds of spring florals. I noticed that the children's section offers a lot of value for the money. Some of the books are very nice. They have this little 10 Little Monkeys book, which is a fun story. And some of the discovery books, the Smithsonian space, as well as some of the discovery with the dinosaurs and animals, very nice for the children. Here's pool noodles and some of the inflated Valentine balloons over here by another rounder full of valentine flowers. I saw some new stuffed animals that were sweet alongside all of the Peeps displays. They had this light up Peep. They also had the drinking glasses with the Peeps design. You can see here they came in the blue, yellow, and also the pink. And I also thought that the bubble blowers were nice. These are um, filled with the bubble solution and they came in different colors. Also, I think those would be fun as an Easter basket fun item. You can see all the plush peeps in the bright yellow, blue, and pink, along with the peeps Easter baskets. Everything was very soft and I think for $5 fairly priced. Here's some other cute little stuffed animals. Please let me know in the comments below what you've enjoyed seeing. I hope you'll consider subscribing as well, and I look forward to having you joining me on my next upcoming video. In the meantime, take care and God bless.